beautiful day out here in the woods hiking through the wilderness some of these trails going off the beaten path seeing what I can discover on the way really enjoying it really interesting area I'm exploring many layers of history throughout the wilderness here lots of old mining operations that took place back in the early days around these areas old quarries phosphate mining limestone rock shell mining just to name a few it's a very active area at one time but also once people that had homesteads ranches all throughout these areas so as I'm roaming through these woods so many things to discover and learn about besides this scenic nature I've had a lot of rain in the area recently so some of these areas a lot of water throughout the swamps not too far from the river once the river rises a lot of these swamp areas fill up quickly with water a lot of water in some of these areas here but just in this section of the woods is part of the Florida Trail so Appears to be dry, so I can walk around some of this water. All in these areas further back into the wilderness way out here middle of the woods really peaceful i was on one of the main trails in the area and i veered off that onto one of these unmarked trails it's, it's old forest road may have been part of a logging tram at one time it's hard to say many of those in this area Seeing some limestone out here. Maybe getting close to one of these old quarries. There's a gate here to another area of the forest I'm exploring. Now, this is all public land, it's just divided up into different tracks, so. Cross over right here. Gates locked, so I have to just climb over this. how much water is in this area should be able to hike around this the woods here and then you can even see where an area is built up there along this path getting close to a mine so I can always walk over there it appears it may be drier over here on this side as well so Made it around this area. It was drier over there behind me in the woods, so I was able to navigate around some of this water. I can see right here where it's built up. Looks like to be part of a tram. Leads to an old quarry, so I'm going to follow this area as far back as I can. See where it's built up here.
Wow, this area completely opens up. Once you get up here, see a view of this quarry. Incredible. Interesting area near this old quarry. There's open field out there. So I'm gonna hike over that direction. May have been some structures or machinery out there at one time. And this area here is built up. I was following along this near a trail there. I could see where it was built up, so I climbed up over here and there's a channel that's dug out in this area. And if I follow this directly out into this field, leads right to the quarry. See that this goes on for ways there into the woods. Just behind me, there's a open field by the quarry. Hike down towards that direction. See some of the rocks around the area from all the diggings that took place. Really beautiful how it opens up out here. See these quarries filled in with water today. Once the site of large mining operation. Today it's a peaceful place in the wilderness to enjoy nature. Water is really nice. It's cold, refreshing. It's hard to know how deep these quarries are. Some of them could be 50 to 100 feet deep, perhaps even deeper than that. And they weren't always filled in with water. Back in the days when these areas were being mined, they would often have to pump out the water from these quarries. So it's possible that they were digging here and hit part of the aquifer and these quarries could be spring fed as well.
Wow, so many places to explore out here. Lots of these paths that veer off into many directions. I just want to follow them, see where they lead. It's so intriguing. It's always interesting. You never know what you'll discover along the way. Really enjoyed exploring around that quarry. Such a big area, lots to roam there. Fortunately, though, with this time of year, in a shorter daylight, I had to take into consideration the time it takes to get back to from where I started. Since I don't plan on staying out here, it took me several hours to hike out into these areas. So it takes the same amount of distance to get back, but you can also find ways to cut down on your time. Take shortcuts, different trails. It's important to know where you're going. Make sure you don't veer off into another direction that you didn't plan on going. Normally, I wouldn't mind that. Because as long as you can keep track of the areas you're exploring, you can go off the beaten path with confidence and courage, knowing that you can get back to the areas that you were more familiar with. And along the way, you discover new places, and that's such an incredible feeling. For me, it's a gift from nature. Sharing its beauty and history as well. But nature will also test you. Now, today, with a shorter daylight, I am limited as far as how far I can explore down some of these off trails that I hadn't been before. So I've been backtracking from the area I came from so far. 